you have to love what you do. And, and if you don't, it's hard to put that passion toward the kids. And I think that's one thing I do is I do pass on that passion because the kids will come in and say, hey, you know what? Guess what I saw last night? Or, uh, you know, what kind of rock is this, Mrs. Hill? Or something bringing it in. And if you don't love it, you don't need to be doing it. And I think that's something I've always kind of believed in. So if you don't love it anymore and you're not having fun, I don't think you're as effective as if you have a true passion for it. What I hope that I, they take from my classroom is that they remember that when they look at a rock or they look at a star or they look at uh, the moon or whatever I've taught them, that they remember it and pass it on to the next generation uh, and enjoy it as much as I do because my teaching is my passion and because it's also my hobby. Uh, all the areas that I teach are my hobby. So if they look at a cloud, they'll think and they'll know that cloud and they'll know that rock and then teach their children about that rock or that cloud or that star someday. I love Highland because it's a family and I think that's what's real important about our school because we are a family and we take care of each other and we take care of our kids. And if somebody's sick, you know, we all chip in and we, we help out and, and, if, and, and I think that's really important to be able to be teaching a school that's got good leadership, team effort, we will all work together and I think Highland is just the best and I, you know, it's been my home for a long time and I think that uh, we're very fortunate to have our school. I feel I carry the torch because I have my passion and love for science and I want the kids to love the science as much as I do and I want them to be able to see the world and appreciate the world and know what's going on and understand it and eventually go out and maybe find a career in taking care of our earth.